Hello everyone and welcome to the 17th episode of my Techtopia series with me, Galactic E Gamer. In the last episode, we built the school and the library, so that enabled us to increase the intellect of our villagers, making them smarter and more able to do their jobs. And in this episode, we are going to be tackling this quadrant of the village. So all this open space that you see before me, we are, it is going to be done by the end of the episode. Which means that with a little bit more decorating outside the walls of the village, and a little bit of mesa cleanup, and probably a little bit more of mesa building, um, it's going to be done. And that means that we get to move on to a new quadrant or sector in the next episode. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a path. So just like the farm complex over here and the first lumber yard that we built, we're going to put a simple path with lime, terracotta, and just some sandstone. And this is going to act as a separator between the wall and the area that we're going to be building. Just so it breaks it up a little bit and it's not just one big building. So I'm going to finish the path and then we will go from there. So we are putting a road in roughly the middle of the section because my plan is to have carts travel on this road. So I'm going to put the road in and then we need to build the garage for the carts and an unloading station. And then that will all come into play and then we will move on to this side of the quadrant. Let's get into it. That looks so cool. So I got the windmill done. Well, the top part anyway. I still need to bring the walls down, but there are windmill um, rotors on both sides. And I'm still gonna have to do, oh boy. Oh, okay. That was unexpected. I'm still gonna have to do that on this side. And I'm going to have to put two rotors in. Oh, actually, I might just put one on that side. Because it's a little close. But anyway. 
we got two windmills. I might have one more on that side in the corner. And then I'm going to have a spout coming out of each of these into large containers. And it's going to be a powdered flour uh, coming out of both and then being stored. And then I'll put a few silos in. And we need to put a wash basin for each of the crops. So like you guys saw in the time lapse that I put in um, like hay bales on this one. And I still have to build the carts. But the carts are going to come here. And they're going to drop off their load. And it's going to go through the grate. And then since you can't add water to wheat because it turns into a, just a gooey mess it's going to be uh, pneumatic tra pneumatically transported to the windmills or like conveyor or whatever so we're going to have to put some piping in and then carrots, potatoes and beetroot are the last three and then those get swept away and then I'll have it like a cleaning station and then they'll be stored as well in the silos. Anyway, that is where we are going. Back to work. Wow, it's really coming together. Got the two windmills in. Got the powdered flour coming out the spouts into holding bins. We got um, farmland ready to be tilled. So that is the last. Well, okay, I shouldn't say last. That is the next thing that we need to do before the entire thing is complete the other thing that we need to do is also to get the wagons built so we're gonna probably build two or three wagons and then we can go from there we're we gonna do a little bit more on the mesa and then that will be it so let me just get this all tilled up and potatoes planted and then we can go from there. I got the three stacks of potatoes in. And it is looks like they are harvesting. So that means it is working well. So now let's start building the wagons. So I'm going to grab a few resources. And then we'll get right to it. I've gotten all of my necessary materials that we're going to be needing. And I'm just going to switch out the spruce probably for my fireworks here. 
Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to come out to the end and we're going to do the wheels first. So we're going to put wheels and then five in between. So right about here. We're going to do this on the opposite side as well. So here and here. Then we're going to take some half slabs and we're going to fill the entire thing in. So I'm actually going to use my wand for this. And we're just going to slowly come all the way across. Now we're also going to have two in the front. And we can replace the wand at this point. So now we are going to come in with the inverted stairs facing towards me. And then we're going to come and bring them across the front. Probably don't need my pickaxe for this, so we'll just switch that out. Okay, so from here, we're going to take fence posts and we're going to come around like so. I'm actually going to need some more fence gates, but we can deal with that in due time. And I can't place them on solid block. Okay. Just get rid of that. I'm going to have to put that torch back after we are done to prevent mob spawn. I'm just going to hurry up and do the fences on this side and I'll have to put in the fence gates afterwards. Yeah, so we're just going to be missing a few fence gates that I'll have to do later. Okay, wheels are in. So now it's time for the stairs on this side. And now we are going to put kind of like a backing to all this. Nope, not like that. We're going to have to do it from the outside. like that so that they can flip up and then these ones we need to flip on the outside so it should go like that yes Oop. not two of them and we're gonna bring these around All the way to the back. We can flip these up. Same on the other side. Just like that. And now we need to put in the back. So I'm actually going to need some temporary blocks. They will be removed later. Just to get the railing for the back. And I'm going to need to sleep really quick. Otherwise we're going to have some dead villagers. So now what we can do is we can put the hay bales in the back and just put them wherever you feel like you need them. You can't put them on the edges where the um, trap doors are because they actually take up the inside of the block. So, you're going to be missing out on that small bit of space. 
but that should be inconsequential, as this is just for decoration. Quick check for F4, and get all the light sources. And put the torch back down here. And nothing can spawn under there, so I need not worry. So, there you have it. I'm going to grab horses to put in the front. I need a few more fence gates. We're gonna, I'm going to build two more wagons off camera, and then we will go from there. So, I put the three carts in. So, you guys saw this one with the hay. I added the fence gates in, and I added a little bit more on the front just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I built two more. So, this one, I put the horses in, leashed them up, and same deal with the front end. And then I put pumpkins in the back. After all, we have a ton of jack-o'-lanterns around, and we needed a little bit of where they came from, and a little bit of moving them around, just to give a little bit more realism to the whole thing. So coming in here, put the fence gate, put uh, two horses in this one, and this one is filling up with the milled flour. So that is all the wagons complete. So now it is time to work on the outside so all of this area where the sand meets the red sound we're gonna actually try to get more of the mesa done now I'm, we're probably not gonna get it done because i just don't have enough cobblestone like we're gonna have to do a massive excavation to get all the cobblestone required for like the entire thing but we can at least start and then we'll probably put some cactus in down or around the mesa especially on the red sand i'm trying to keep the white sand clear in case like villagers get out there so they don't puncture themselves on the cactus and then we'll probably have to light the bottom part up with like torches or try to get more some ambient lighting but uh yeah i definitely gotta light some places up but other than that, let's get right into it. Okay, we got two layers done. We built another sand path on the side of the hill that we can use as a staging area to hold all my items instead of flying all the way back down. It is still not complete, but I'm running out of resources, so I'm going to have to do another mining session. And with that, guys, I am going to let you guys go. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to come back next week as we will be continuing episode 2 of Primordium and also with this series as we will start to build another village. And that is all the, the things that are coming in the future. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye everybody.